Hello everybody, welcome to a popper video. Haven't made a popper video in a long time and I am here with uh, Mono Red Cool Dotha, which is uh, one of, the, if not the best deck in popper. Uh, next week in Trieste there is a, there's a popper tournament, uh, pretty large on Friday, and I'm interested in battling that one. I'm considering the Cool Dotha Red, as well as of course Blue White Kogates. Um, Kuldotha Red has picked up a couple of new cards. One is Dwarven Forge Chanter, which is this 2 mana 1 3 prowess that uh, word pay to life. This is relevant in the mirror match. And it replaced the star, the chromatic star, with Implement of Combustion. This is uh, similar to the star, but instead of making the mana, you will deal 1 damage, which is relevant because this deck is a burn deck. Of course, this deck is now a thing thanks to Monastery Swiss Spear. And that's very good with the combo between Kudota Rebirth and Experimental Synthesizer. Playing only 17 lands is scary because you might get caught mana screw, but you know, it's the risk of it's the the, the difficulties of balancing uh, uh, mana screw and mana flood. Um, blue black is a difficult matchup because now they play up to three um, of the card that gives life link in the main deck. Uh, the card is called Unexpected Fangs. And we are, that's why we are playing 4 Relic and 1 Mind Collapse. Mind Collapse is a way to kill the 5-5s five if they just play it and pass. And you have Power Blast to kill the, uh, the other 5-5 five five with Ward. Then you have Shaman and Smash for the Affinity matchup. And you have the festivities for the Mirror slash Blue White Colgate slash Mono Blue Fairies. So yeah, let's get down to a proper league. Let's hope uh, the league is populated and we don't play too many Mirror matches. I already recorded with this deck a couple of... Uh, months ago at this point for Channel Fireball. So if you are interested in more content about this deck, you can go to the Channel Fireball YouTube channel. Remember, I make videos for my own YouTube channel and as well as for the Channel Fireball YouTube channel. Okay, let's go, perfect hand. Money into six, I'm keeping my hand, that's very good. Mm -hmm. So here, what we do is uh, turn one Vodar and Epicure, and turn two, it'll depend, I'm not the biggest fan of just casting an a, a Synthetizer this way, I like to slow roll it, I like to behave with Synthesizer as I do with Expressive Iteration in, um, in Modern. As long as I have lands, I don't play Synthesizer, when I run out of lands, I will play Synthesizer. Okay, looks like it's a mirror match. Uh, this deck is very popular, so the mirror match will definitely happen a lot. Put a mulligan to 5, so hopefully we get to leverage that uh, plus 3 uh, card advantage. Okay, Dwarven Forge Chanter. Mm -hmm. Right, it is a mirror match indeed. Go! All right, they have one card and an only though. I have six. Love it, art. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm gonna go synthesizer and then Kuldotha rebirth. If I break on land, that's okay. But I'll flip two cards here to find a land. Remember, this is only now. I cannot cast it next turn. Okay, I break the land. I flipped uh, two spell, but still able to attack. And also, you know, I was going to break lands anyway. It's not that I have uh, shuffled two cards from my deck. They were on top of my deck, so this just gets deeper to find a third land. And of course, makes three goblin token and attacks for three because we played two spells. All right, they go Searing Blades without... Uh, this is an unusual card. You don't see Searing Blades ever. And especially if they put a new, they had it. They shouldn't have... Uh, I'm assuming they shouldn't have played Land last turn. Anyway, I got a 14 and now I untap. Draw. Okay, still no lands. Hmm. I can go Synthesizer and if I brick, I either cast the card that I flip or I play Epicure. Land, very good. Now what? 
I can play a couple of Epicures, probably. And I can attack for four. I can consider Chum Block in next turn, we'll see. Again, put a Mulligan 2-5 on the play, so we have a lot of uh, card advantage in this game. Oh, they play Forgotten Cave. I don't play this land, but it can be your 18 land if you want. I don't think you want to. Need to love a runner, wow. I haven't seen this card in a long time. Draw. Ooh, Kuldota Rebirth. Okay, I'm gonna start with Kuldota Rebirth, sacrificing the Synthesizer. Making all the value. Maybe I flip a Bushwalker, who knows. I flip Implement of Combustion, okay. I'll cast it, deal one damage. No, sorry, deal nothing. I just, I'll just cast it. And then I can consider, I can consider attacking with all here. Let's see how they block. They have one card in there, which should be a spell. Hmm. Let me count how much damage do I have here. Uh, I don't think I have much. I can Lava Dart you for two, you go to nine, eight, yeah. So I'll simply Lava Dart the Gitu Lava Runner. And deal you five, so you go to six, and I kill your Lava Runner. And I pass the turn. So I throw away two creatures in order, in order to deal uh, some damage. I think it was worth it. That's not a one-two. What is on six? Draw. Well, they're an epic keyword. So they're on five. I attack with all. They block three. They go to four. Hello, they are on five. They, uh, they block four. They take two. They go to three, two, one. And not lethal, so yeah. I'm not lethal. Let's start with Reckless Impulse. Very good card in this deck. Love it, Art Reckless Impulse. Okay, that can seed. All right, GG. So go to the sideboard. Um, hmm. I put us on a weird list though, so I don't know if I want to bring in end of festivities. Maybe they don't play Kuldota Rebirth, because they play with Gito Lover Runner, Searing Blades. Yeah, I just don't think I want to sideboard anything. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Buongiorno Labirinto. That is a key. That is a keep. This is a nice start because it doesn't... So there's like a lot of cards in this deck that actually want to to use the mana, uh, like synthesizer, suck the synthesizer and things like that. So you just end up not being able to do much when you cast them. All right, there goes Kisu Lava Runner. Okay. Hmm. I think I'll go for a Forge uh, Chanter. If opponent goes like Bolt on this, they'll take two damage. I think it's worth it. What is All right. So yeah, they choose to do that. But so you can see why people are playing this card over the Kessig uh, Forge Master. A fire war or Kessig, uh, no, what's the name? Kessig. Um... Mm. All right, opponent, uh, opponent's going quote unquote all in here with this Lava Dark face. Draw. Lightning Bolt, great draw. Very good draw. Needed it. I think I'm actually bolting this. I want to just make sure that. Huh, maybe this was a mistake. Opponent can go Bolt and Flashback Lava Dart. I guess it's okay. I guess it's okay. Oh, wow. Mutagenic Growth. Huh. 
first time I see it in Pauper. Makes sense, don't get me wrong, but just first time I see it. I guess there was just no way for me to play around it then. Alright, pass the turn. We can play Goblin Grenade, it's legal, yeah. It's a, it's a clunky card though. You can make it effect Goblin Grenade now. If you have you, then need to build it like in a different way. This has a reveal searing blaze, alright. I have no, they have one card in end. I might go Fire Blast on the Swift Spear. Nah, I don't wanna. Just, 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 you know. Just attack me. If I go Fire Blast on the Swift Spear, it's like, I'm giving up. You can see, now Chromatic Star, I think, would be better than Combustion Implement because I can just cycle the stars next turn for free, whereas this requires mana, which... Okay, nice, I'm happy with this draw. Let's begin with Synthesizer. Ooh, Dota Rebirth, that's lucky. That's very lucky. Very, very lucky. I think I'm sacrificing this, though, and not the Synthesizer, because I already have a plan here with the Galvanic Blast. Then I might want to gal blast the 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 Swift Spear now. <sighs> Probably not. Probably can wait. Can I wait though? Mm. Putin's love and art in the graveyard. Can they get me? Can they start with love and art in a goblin token. Yeah, I guess I'm just god lost now. And pass. Okay. So they have two cards, and they have a lot of dark in the graveyard. I have a fire blast, but I'm never gonna cast it. Is it my deck if I'm never gonna cast it? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, it's, it's a one of, in theory, it's a card that it's good when it's like turn when the game is over, basically. It's good when the game is over, but it might be important. Okay, so they're attacking me, obviously. Signifying to me that they have an answer. I think I don't mind to triple block. Triple blocking means uh, you need to have two removal spell or mutagenic growth. All right, I'm just yeah very happy with this trade. Searing blaze. Okay. But I could have actually killed the Searing Blaze and Lava Dart. They didn't want to, sure. Uh, I'm in a good shape now, huh? I think so. I'll suck this. What's on top? What foot's on a two drop? To land, okay. And I can go land, Swift Spear, attack. Yeah, now I'm in a good shape. They should have definitely killed one of my token and Lava Dart to the other one. Like, that was the whole thing why they attacked. Okay, they can suck their synthesizer as well, so what they flip. Forgotten cave. Alright, it's a top land. You can't cycle this. Cycle is only from from hand. They have one card in hand. Draw. Mm. Uh I think I'll uh, start with uh dealing one damage to you draw a card. Okay, this is better than star now. Nice. I can go with this guy, which will pump the Swift Spear. <clears throat> I'll uh, deal you another damage, I think. And then, do I want to discard this land here? I think so. Draw a card. Nice. 
exactly why I looted so much, because I wanted to find a removal spell for the samurai, and I found it. So, am I lethal with Fire Blast? Nope, I'm not. Close, though. So I'm just attacking and passing. In Modern War Prowess, do you prefer Swift Spirit or Kiln Fiend? Yeah, I'm the Swift Spirit is the best card in Popper right now. Uh, Kiln Fiend is a different strategy. It requires a different deck. I think it's less solid. All right, a bolt face, sure. I'm at three life during top deck mode. Red, red. Fire Blast. All right, good game. Let's go to game three. I'm on the play now, still no changes. On the play. Mulligan. Hmm, very bad end. I think I'm keeping, this deck plays 17 lands. Fireblast won the game for them. <laughs> okay, my sister is dead. It's all one damage though. Alright. Land was not good here. But you know, this deck has uh, ways to mitigate mitigate flood with uh, the blob, for example. Or just by using a lot of um I'm attacking. And passing the turn. Is it worth to buy a popper deck on MTGO? <laughs> okay. What can I say? What type of question is that? If you if you're not sure about buying a popper deck, the 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 threshold for buying things in life it's, it's really lower. Like it's never gonna be lower probably. About things in general, I was actually afraid of playing Great Furnace for the exact reason, and I got punished to do so. Nice draw. Io caro però puttana eva ma che cazzo. Go! Why this deck doesn't play Shieldred? That's probably a better question than if it's worth to buy a popper deck on MTU. Mm, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This is where, this is the spot where you start counting lands. And you start counting how lucky you are. Alright, you're tapping for one. Oh, you don't? Hmm. Let's play Reckless Impulse. Come on, two spells now. Oh, actually two spells. Uh, what do I do? I could go chain lining of one of those things and attack for three. Pass. Popper burn better than legacy popper serious question. I mean it's not if I'm playing uh the the more the the, the popper format you are you're required to ask every question that you that you know. I don't know, I don't know. No? What do you want me to say? No? It's not? He's a lover runner, perfect. Perfect. It's your favorite popper gets to Gaugate. I haven't played Gaugate in a long time, actually. 
I kind of went to the on the Cogit's break, just trying new things. Nice, nice draw. I should win in this game. Put another great furnace, or should I not? Should just hold it in end. Nah, if they have a smash just meterings, whatever. They'll play it, smash just meterings. You'll be surprised they didn't fire blast. Well, they have three lands, and why do you want a fire blast? Is a creature? Oh, the bolt on the thing? You're right. Hmm, yeah, maybe maybe I punted by bolting that. Yeah, maybe I punted. But they didn't do it, so I guess it was right. Alright, I'm on eight. They have fire blast, but it's up it's ending now, so do you want a fire blast? They fire blast the chanter, not me. Alright. Cool. They have a lot of cards, they have nothing. It's time to draw some reckless impulse. Reckless impulse. Oh, bad. This is a a cycling card that <laughs> Two mana cycling that deals one damage. Oh, I bolt. A pass. I have a I bolt an epicure, so I leave the, the card in hand here. Six spear, six spear. Actually, so afraid of me Jenny growth. Nah, I didn't have Jenny growth. Source, trust me, bro. Nice. <sighs> Do you want a needle drop? Well, needle drop, you need to deal down the edge first, so that's better, right? Come on, reckless impulse. Oh, even better. Madonna, quanta forte questo. Whoa! Ma vabbè, ma che se, ma che? Alright. Uh, do I sacrifice the synthesizer or the furnace? Out of nowhere, we just drew three cards and made three goblins. Ah, the thing is that next turn I can turn the synthesizer into a samurai. Yeah, I think I'm sucking the furnace. Because this can, this can be a samurai. I think a samurai is actually irrelevant now. Now, I'm, I, think, I mean, I don't think there is... Was I funny? One damage to each opponent. Okay, to each creature. Va bene. Kiss Keef. Alright, you're gonna five. Come on, let's draw some more cards to draw cards. Love it, Art. Hmm. I'm glad I went for the Samurai. I think I killed this now. Yeah, neither is wrong, I agree. Come on, flip a two drop. Searing Blaze, okay. Don't have a land now. Very good. Another two drop. Very good. Mill two cards. Get out. Out. Draw Reckless Impulse. Boom. Montagna. Va bene. I'll play six land for Fire Blast. Attack you for two. Go. How many lands are left in my deck? All right, let's count the lands in order to show us, in order to show how lucky we are. We have one land at the bottom. Quindi so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, 6 lands left. We have 6 lands, 29 spell. Vabbè, dai, almost. Complaint equity, exactly. All right, opponent plays third land passes. Doesn't even want to play a... Woo! Let's go! Do you take it? No, my bushwalker! 
Such a bad, such a sad death. Alright, I'm dead to Fire Blast. They have one card in it only. Even the Mono Red Mirror match goes to time almost in Popper. Every match is so slow. Hey, they're thinking, 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 thinking. Top three. You got a samurai? Okay, get flip a spell, not a land. Spell. Babene. Alright, time to top deck. Come on, reckless impulse synthesizer. Ecololi. Boom. Let's keep on let's keep on hitting. Boom, bolt. Babene que questo. We'll dot our forge master. All right, bolt. Lord Iron Epicure. Okay, okay, that's good. I guess we need to discard his land. Redraw. Let's go. Bolt, 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 bolt. Bolt. Whoa! Can be land bolt. Okay, I'm attacking. I might still die, of course. Oh. Basically storm, yeah. Basically storm. When it's two cards, I have two things over there. My five with the love of art in the graveyard for them. Okay, they cycle, that's a good start. They play land, they have two cards in hand. They probably drew these two cards. Forgotten Cave and Land. And last turn they just did this, so I think I'm in a good shape. Because I think they had the same hands they had previously. Come on, die opponent. They also have two End of Festivities exiled and one uh, smashed to the dust in the graveyard. So I'm hoping they don't have any more one damage uh, sweeper. Your Ganda wins the match. GG's, Chris. It was a fun match. Mm, Bray. Mono Red. Burn. In this matchup, Synthesizer is the best deck. This is the best card in your deck. In normal matchups, uh, Monastery Two Spear is. Which I think I should just display by card view with this deck. Yeah, I should just display by card view. Yeah, yeah, I was dead to Fire Blast. That's okay. Can you suck lands and cast from the exile? Uh, yeah, I think you can play Fire Blast from exile. Wait, what's this? All right, but we have to be the first. Yes, Bombaji, yeah, I will. Ooh, nice hand. Lands and spells. Sign me up. Yeah, out there, house. I agree. I a fun, fun, fun fact that I didn't even think about it. That I could have had a uh, Fire Blast. To save the one three. Alright, so with Epic, you are the second best art. Ooh, that's blue black. That's uh that's another that's another famous popper deck. That's the thing with popper. Most people are quote unquote try hard on, on Magic Online. You always gotta play it against the uh, tier one. They might not be like you know, in the other formats, it might be a little bit more casual. I'm not saying it's bad or good, I'm just saying uh, things how they are. Actually, the same thing is how I see them. Let's put it this way. Our mental note, sure. Thought scour, sure. Did I cast Godblast face? Yeah. Why not? I think so. I think it's okay. It deals four damage if if you think about it with the prowess. Is the initiative mechanic still a thing in Popper? Yes, you can still ca you can still cast uh, two cards. I guess three cards with the initiative in Popper. Point is on nine. You, they got double five drive. Mm. Yeah, turn three, double five, five. That's an impressive draw from my opponent. 
such a strong deck theirs as well when it works. All right, let's start with uh, yeah, dealing you one damage, drawing a card, lightning bolt. Okay. If I attack with all the block one of these, I bolt uh, the the angler. I think it's all right. I mean, the, the problem with that deck is that uh, they, I think they, they hit the highs of the deck. That deck has also lows, where you just don't do that. Um, well, I have to do this. And pass. They have a card, as I said in the previously, in the deck deck, which is plus one, plus one lifelink. And the lifelink counter. So if they do that, it's over. But if they don't do that, the game goes on and I might, um, you know, win. With my card advantage card. Was developing a waiting worth? It was, definitely. It was worth. I just felt that my opponent plays, you know, counter spell, removal spell, so... I'll, I just need to pressure in. I don't know. Again, might might, might be wrong. Mm. They they keep up counter spells. Well, you can see. Oh, that's a good draw. Pass, of course. I can't. Can't do anything. Mental note. Do I want to bold them now? I don't think so. The counter spell is not out. All right, nice. They don't have plus one, plus one lifelink. That's a good news. So another terror. And the thing is that killing the, the angler, I think, buys me a lot of time as well. With a bolt as I did. Spell, wow. I don't want a fire blast face. I think I want to wait for that. Three cards. That's wrong. Okay. They don't have counter spell, or they would have countered this. I think. I don't want to suck this now. Let's get a two two. I think it's it's okay. Synthesizer, sure. I cast it just because. Or spike? Oh, spell peers. Okay. A pass. Opera has a higher higher mulligan rate than other formats. Um I haven't found that now. Maybe because you play 17 lands and 19 lands in those two decks, so you might think of that, but I think it's okay. It's... All right, if I draw Bolt, I think I win. All right, let's go for the, the kill. All right, you get to six. Pass. Pass, upkeep, go blast you, fire blast you. Very important lesson of this game. Very important lesson of this game was to not chump block with the Epicure. We see a lot of new player, bad players, 
chump blocking. Chump blocking when you are not dead often is a bad play. So think about that twice, three times because because of not chump blocking we were able to deal the last damage. Okay, I have this mine collapsing. We can see if this works. Relic, Pyroblast. A lot of cyber cards in this matchup. All right, there's also a lot of bad cards here, like Chain Lightning, like Lava Dart, like Fire Blast, and like, where is it, Bushwalker. So yeah, this is how I sideboard for the matchup. Let's let's see this mine collapse. Of course, it would have been very good this game. All right, we got two lands. Perfect. Ice tunnel. Let's go for the swift spear and attack. Exclamation mark deck to see the deck list. Play those two stones and tap for three. Mental note pitching this spell in Gurmagingler. Okay, no blue mental blast. Very good news. All right, three top lands. Nice. Uh, what do I want to do? Uh, I think I want to go land the synthesizer. Actually, they didn't have a spell pierce last turn. I mean, they, they might have had spell pierce. Land synthesizer is so weird though. But I guess I just I have very few lands left. I mean, I play 13 lands left, so I think it's unlikely that I flip a land. I'm gonna do the weird land synthesizer play. All right, flip the land. That's okay. Uh... <sighs> I wanna sacrifice? Yeah, I think so. And then I will attack you for two and pass. I don't have to play Annoy Heat in the sideboard. Well, it's harder to make Delirium than it is in Modern. Hot Scour, okay. You pitch your mill to Hydroblast, wow. Very nice. They're on 13, I have 10 damage in end, 11 here. They play two mana to layer and terror. Okay. Go on top and draw. Mm. Don't wanna suck this. Don't wanna suck this. Don't don't wanna not suck anything, maybe. Mm. Let me just start by land attack. Land attack sounds great. A ward. If that does help, Pierce. They do. Yep. Mm. Is that my opponent has the plus one plus one protection? Sorry, plus one plus one lifelink card, which makes very hard. For me to win, so I think it was a I think it was a fine play. Not over yet. Reckless impulse. Land. Okay, great furnace. 
Uh, I want to pitch synthesizer. I need all my lands here. Okay. I pass because I need all my lands here. Chum block until I'm dead. Another fangs. Still not over. I have three cards. I have a couple of power blasts in my deck. Let's find them. Full darn epicure. Okay. Cycle now. Mm. Yeah. So many lands. Um, okay, so here I'm going to just chump chump, I guess. Popper video, yes. All right, I'll chomp chomp now. Three cards. You play Gurmag. Fine, at least that one doesn't, I don't have to spend three mana to target it. Mine collapse, okay. So I'll uh, kill the angler. And I'll attempt to kill the... Oh, you can as well? Okay. Don't want to attempt to kill the... Um, the Tolerant Terror now. I think so. And I have to... Chump Chump again. Have one card. All right. Okay. Um, it's officially over now. All right. Let's go game three. I think no changes. I think that's the right configuration in order to win the matchup. Which is a. Uh, if they're that function, it's tough. You hope that the deck doesn't function. All right. <laughs> this hand is risky. We have turn one Combustion, turn two Kuldotha, drawing two cards. I think I'm keeping it, but... It's not an ideal hand. This deck plays 17 lands, so I think you are required to keep these kind of hands sometimes. Three against blue-black. Let's see how it works. We're going to go land, implement, pass. And, uh... Best hope is that it go top land, then we draw a land natural, so that we can go turn to reckless imp. Oh, sorry, turn turn to uh, Kuldotha rebirth, keeping up mana for power blast. I mean, I guess best scenario is to draw Swift Spear land. Yeah, Swift Spear land. Ooh, they go land go. Wow. Huh. That means uh, they have a a spell pierce. But I drew land, so we we got bailed out here. We got bailed out here. Counter target spell if it's blue. Perfect. All right, they go island pass. So island pass means uh, counter spell. Guess I'm gonna go epicure and uh, once again power blast. Oh, I'm not gonna play Kuldoth or Rebirth on the Blood Token, I think. I try to keep a Pyro Blast if they go for the uh, Tolerant Terror here. Which they very well might. And if nothing, I can't suck the Blood to discard the Kuldoth or Rebirth end of turn. Yeah, seems fine. Ooh, Upkeep. Oh, they milled the top two cards. Wow, two lands, okay. So they currently have uh, five cards, so they can't cast Terror. Yeah, I think I wanna uh, get rid of one of these... Uh, 
Cool Dota Rebirth. Relic is great here. Very good. Let's hope they don't have a spell pierce. Nice. Do I want to crack now? Or do I want to keep up? If I crack now, they can still go end of turn, Todd Scour. Yeah, I think I need to crack now. Or I can crack up keep. In that case, I'll miss a land drop if there's on top. I think it's better to crack up keep, yes. I draw land, I get, I get punished. But if not... I think it's better. I gained the mana. Because my opponent didn't end of turn do anything. The difference is that uh, for, I, I made my opponent not be able to go uh, Totsky Hour or things like that. Ooh, Falaji Archaeologist. Okay, they mill Suffocating Fumes. Okay, so they have Suffocating Fumes in hand. That's very relevant. Draw. Synthesizer. Okay. Suffocating Fumes they have in hand. Hmm. Good to know. Uh, now, what can I do? I can go Swift Spear, attack with all, they block a 1-1, one, one, I Gull Blast the Archaeologist. Where does that bring me? Hmm. Now, I think I want to go Swift Spear Synthesizer. Maybe just Synthesizer. Yeah, just Synthesizer to start. Set up next turn for Cool Dota. Ooh, Lightning Bolt. All right, I'll just Bolt this then. And attack with four. You get an eight. And next turn I can go Swiss Pure Cool Dota. They go top land, they have the suffocating fumes in hand. Draw. Very good. Um mm, 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 mm. Galblast only deals T damage. Yeah, I think I should go Swiss Pure Attack with all. Actually, suffocating fumes means that I should have probably not go Swiss Pure. Because it just shrinks it. So anyway, yeah, let's just attack. And they will go so forget fumes. And then I go cool dotha. Here. Rebuild and draw a card. Very good. Land. I definitely want to keep a power blast for the Actually Tornet Terror costs too much mana, so they have to like tap out. So I should probably go just reckless impulse and pass the turn here. Land Swiss Beer, ooh, that's scary. They go Mental Note. Let's see how many Terrors they have. Terror is three mana. That's a lot. They go Gurma Gangler, that's one mana. And Top Land. Do they have... Yeah, draw. Synthesizer again, okay. Let's start with Swift Spear. Start with Swift Spear. Oh, you counter? Oh, Hydroblast. Do I want to go Pyroblast? If I go Pyroblast here, then I play another Swift Spear, and I Gull Blast, and I can't Gull Blast you for four, though. I guess this is dead. And then I go Swift uh, Synthesizer. Hmm. I can go for Tolir and Terror next turn. I should probably just accept this. Hmm. Nah. No, I want to counter. This gives me the fourth artifact to be able to kill the Ingler with Galvanic Blast. Combusting. I would all. They take three, probably. No, they don't? Okay. It was really important to uh, let this resolve, I think. Okay, you start with Thought Scour, and you can cast one mana ink. Oh, Shrivel. Okay. You have two cards in hand, and you have no creatures. 
Whoa, reckless impulse is a good start. I think I'll go land Swiss uh, Swiss spear, land reckless impulse. You have a counter spell, okay. Reckless impulse. Ooh, a relic. Amazing. I can go relic and I'll crack it immediately. You have one card in hand. Nice. I'll begin with Synthesizer. The, the, the four relics I think are uh, very, very important in this deck. It's, they're definitely just, yeah. I think in Popper at this point, with that deck being one of the best deck, you should if you if you can afford to, you should play as many uh, relic as possible. And this deck sideboard definitely can afford that. So people are just reluctant to play four ofs in their sideboard. Okay, so they have two cards. They I reveal a land there. Okay, so here I can go land Epicure, and I can loot away the Great Furnace. Oh. Mm. Land Epicure, you go to five. Counter spell? Okay. Uh pass then. One card. I'm not gonna play this bolt, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mills for Pierce Island. They have two cards. Oh, you have Gurmag? Aw. And they even have three, two mana up for the plus one, plus one lifelink. Oh, come on, opponent. Did you die into that? Did you just go into Gurmag? All right, let's drop burn spell. Ah, Kamados, Kapor, Kamados, Ka. Eh. Go, Lamb, go. I got it. I'm dead to plus one plus one lifelink once again. You're not dead, but... Okay, they don't have it. Good news. Draw. Reckless Impulse. Very good news. Please resolve. Nice! Wow. Amazing. I'll go blast you for four. I mean, I can't have anything. This spell. Oh, they have that one. Okay. I'll bolt you. Bolt you. I won both game one and three exactly as zero life. Exactly as zero life. Both games one and three. One more life. If I missed one life here and there, I would have lost the game, the match. Round number three. I'm on the play with this Mona Red deck. Ooh, three lands. That's great. Does that play so few lands that every time I draw two in my opener, I like so happy? Let's go to Sphere. I hope my opponent starts with a good old top land. Nice. It's not a Dimir deck, but yeah. I'm just burning you here. Go to 10. Now let's hope that the deck can do the rest. Top of the deck needs to do the rest. So my hand is over. I 
the most recent list of blue black plague or phalagi archaeologists, right? Am I am I am I am I right with that? That's a card that um it's be very good against this matchup. Tonight, Team Trios. Ooh, enjoy. Seems cool. Reckless Impulse. Manco. Yeah, but Man was a little bit uh, land heavy. But again, playing 17 lands and this deck, I think more often uh, more often screws than Flood. At least that's my experience uh, playing against it. I, I've never played this deck in paper. Still looking to find. All right, they don't have a creature, it looks like. That's good news. They probably have counter spell, so even if I even if I draw a spell, even if I do would draw a spell, I I don't think I would play it. Let me check these lists these days. Because the way Popper works is that uh, one uh, one person builds a deck that wins a tournament, and then. It's on the same list. What's this? I've never seen this before. Wow. Wow. Put a big brain over there. Huh. That is a huge brain. They'll blast you. I'll implement you. I want to play run spell peers. I think I have to because they play the, the thing that does lifelink main deck, so I'd rather yeah. And if they're not the thing that gives lifelink, I still have a lot of outs. Leximic Fog and Popper. Eh, not the fan. Not the biggest fan of the of the deck existing, no. You can check out the YouTube uh, the the podcast where we talk about um Alright, I'm dead. GG. To do Alice wins. Mind collapse, power blast. Eight cards, taking out Fire Blast, Chain Linings, Love it Art, Love it Art, and Bushwhacker. Vamos. Only four obs. And Mind Collapse. Rot? People are playing Rot, rot and Reunion? It's the one that exiles. Yeah, I put a one, one with a card I've never seen before. Which is rare. I want to say it's pretty rare to play a card I've never seen before. I'm still looking in my binder over here for Falage's Archaeologist for tonight. Because I have a popper tournament and I am landing the the, the blue black deck. Hello, Bibo. Vamos. That's a hand of cards. How do I start? Uh, it could be Implement of Combustion, Kuldota, Rebirth. I think that's a very powerful start. One of the best. One of the best start of the deck, for sure. They go Land Pass, that... Uh, that yeah, I have Pyroblast, so... I'm gonna just easy, Kuldota, Rebirth. Draw a card, you play the counter spell, you left mana up for it, play Pyroblast. Easy. Go. Yeah, no epic your turn one. We had to do we had to set up this play exactly.
Okay. Um, mm -mm. I'd rather play around Spell Pierce again, so I'm just attacking. I'll play Relic, and if they have a counter, I'll just... Um, I'll just... I'll fight over the Relic. Very important to let this resolve. Brainstongs. Okay. Not, 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 not countering that one. And then I'll play yeah, Cure, yes. No free mana counter, so we're happy. Epicure dies to the suffocating fumes or shrivel. So maybe I was supposed to hold here. Maybe I was supposed to hold here. I think I was supposed to hold. This was a mistake. I thought about it afterwards. Should have played a Swiss Spear. Okay. They can't cast any creature. They can cast shrivel. I think they were casting Gurmag, but I couldn't. It's Chanter by the Flame Breaker. It's for the mirror match, yeah. In the mirror match, uh, Chanter is great. Mm. Now I think do I wanna do I wanna just pass? Yeah, I think attack and pass. Let's see what they do. So now I kind of want to crack this relic because I don't want you to cast the uh, four mana Gurmag. Mm. Okay. Do I want to? I think I'll discard this God Blast. Draw a card. And I'll go triple creature. And I can suck the blood. But I kind of want to just sacrifice a, a card advantage engine to the Kuldotha and not the blood. The local mirror, the local metagame should, should be a mirror match. I mean, this is the... This deck is very popular, right? I don't know, my local meta is just Mono Red is by far the most played deck. Like at least doubles anything else. Because there's also multiple copies. Ooh, nice draw. Multiple version of Mono Red. Lightning Bolt is definitely very much played. Yeah, you have counter as well. Mm, I think I'll have to counter. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, you have it. Well, if I... If I cast this, I win. If they don't have anything. Still getting three. Mm, yep, same list. Run it back! Oh, mind collapse. The collapse of a mind. You don't want to be there. You don't want to be there. But where is? Where are my Falaji archaeologists? Where are? I put them here. Ooh, 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 I see Modern Age. Should be around here. I, I, don't, I don't find them. <sighs> Allora, very good end, wow.
Upland, love to see that. Let's begin with a relic, everyone's favorite card. Always a delight to start a Great Furnace Relic of Progenitus in this matchup. Mm -hmm. And they'll play a Chanter, a Dwarven Forge Chanter. And you can go Blue Mental Blast. That's okay. Next turn, we'll play the Synthesizer, because, uh, or, like, if you draw land, we might even not do. Uh, we'll see. You, you don't have to, ooh, don't even have a land, wow. Play Synthesizer, they'll play Counterspell, and they'll play another Synthesizer. If you can trade one mana for two, you should always try to. And this deck is very good at doing that. Ah, uh, that was good. I, think I would have loved to find a Kuldoth off a of Synthesizer. That's yeah, okay. The VOD are available if you're a subscriber of the channel, or if you wait, uh, some days you'll find it on my YouTube channel. Hmm, Pyroblast. Yeah, I think I'll just play this, they counter, pass. It's not ideal, but I don't want to suck this relic to draw a card. I think it's a. This is just. Just play threats, they counter. I pass. And pass again. Third land. Pass again. Okay. Yeah. Why not play another relic? This is the exile zone. Let's start with a mental note. And then you play counter spell. Mm, I think I'm happy to counter this. And now I, uh, they have two cards in the graveyard. This means that they can't uh, cast an angler at any point, or a or a or the other one. Land. Okay, perfect. They let me untap. This means I can just eat it, the whole graveyard now. And remember, the, I mean, they can seven, the top seven mana, but that means my deck will not have functioned if they get to get seven mana and, and cast their things. Oh, there it is. Great draw. Two. Yeah, four cards. You might have the the one that kills my goblins. That's okay to me. I can also suck the relic if they go like end of turn thought scour or. Sure, lightning bolt. <laughs> Twenty life. Okay, that's aggressive in this spell. Especially since, uh, all right, let's see. Yep. Okay, they have still three cards, no land, so they have three spells in end. Hope it's just some seven drops. Just use this in upkeep so you'll never forget.
Fifth land, the hey. <laughs> the seventh mana is about to arrive. I still don't wanna crack those. I might. I might crack those. Even if, if they draw sixth land, I might crack one of those. If they don't draw sixth land, I'm gonna hold them. Okay. Yeah. I could have sucked the Great Furnace earlier instead of the Synthesizer. All right, put and reach the sixth land. I think it's time that we crack one of those. You have to draw a card. Not ideal. All right, or chanter. I think I'm gonna start with this and uh, and cantrip. Oh, seventh land, ay ay ay. Hey, unfortunately my deck didn't really do much this game, so we're gonna lose to our cast five fives. Yep. Hit a word, and then I'll exile that card. I think I'm gonna hold this in end. I'm gonna hold the landing end in case I draw an Epicure. I think it's unlikely that I need to crack the relic. Okay. I wouldn't have a window to uh, exile the brainstorm when it's in the graveyard. Opponent can easily go just brainstorm Gurmag or brainstorm uh, um, Tolerant Terror even with a Relic Untapped. They play an 8 land. And then uh, I guess they play a creature. Yep. Draw Swift Spear. Mm. Draw. A. It's nice. Hmm. Pyroblast, cool Dotha Rebirth. Interesting. Definitely want to go land to hold a Pyroblast. Yeah, I think it's better than going cooldown or rebirth. So I'll just go land go, holding a Pyroblast for a Titan, uh, for a Tolerant Terror. Maybe I, was, maybe I was supposed to play Swiss Spear there. I don't know. All right, unexpected things. Good. I have one card left. Is it a... Oh, is it another of that? Jeez. That was very perfect. Very, very perfect for them. The game is not over, though. I always have access to just, yeah, 33 cards. There's a mine collapse around there. There's a mountain around there. I think I'll start by Relic Crack. Yeah. Start with that. I did say Relic was the be the best thing ever, only if you're following up with uh, a way to win the game, which was not the case for me. Dio caro. Dio caro.
I played more than one mind collapse. The game modes tend to go long and need to kill those rat fives. I'm gonna work if you drew. Yeah, and that works. Take 11, down to three. And yeah, that's a start. Can cycle that way on those lanes to find the synthesizer that changes some other spells. Yeah. That's good. Let's go. I need more spells. Mind collapse. A triple block does I lose the game, so I can't. So I'll just uh, chum block, chum block. What do you think is the best format for grinding leagues? I don't know. Never, never lived that life. I, I probably just Legacy Initiative because that's the the only deck that's currently broken in Magic. Everything else is pretty balanced. Okay. Still not giving up because this deck might just you know grind through infinite life and things like that <laughs> although now i can't even mind collapse i guess i can mind collapse for five mana all right it is officially over good run though good run good run thought i had it i thought i had it this game just need to just need to light up the stage extra Round number four. Mm, lens, nice. Let's go. Love it, art. Will it be? Will it be alive this game? Maybe. Drosper Bridge. Okay. Uh, you don't have a turn one play. Do I want to chain lining you? Mm, nah. I don't think this is a chain lining you deck. Ooh, Knight's Whisper go. Okay, I'll go for a Charger, Chanter. Oh, they pass, interesting. Okay, Grixis Artifacts, that looks like to be Affinity for my opponent. Blood Fountain. All right, do they have Frogmite? They do. I'm happy I kept the chain lining around then. Another Chanter. I'm going to chain lining the froggy and then just play another chanter. Yes, this format is called Popper. That's where we play only commons. More blood fountains. Let's see if they have four fours. One four four. No fourth land. Wow. Mm. Ooh, strong. Let's start with Synthesizer. Let's see if I find the land. I don't. Let's go Kuldotha Rebirth, Suck Synthesizer. Let's see if I find a land. I do. I'll play land. A let me attack with both. Chum blocks, interesting. I oh, love it, art. You? And this becomes a four six. E that's it. You take four. Hmm, blue black. Oh, you want to gain seven life? I understand. Okay. Us. I've ever played Cycle Storm. I have played against it once. My opponent uh, uh, took 40 minutes in game one to not find a win condition. And we ended up drawing. I hated it. I feel like in Popper there's just one million decks that are like weird. And uh, you just lose. And you feel like, I shouldn't have lost this game. <laughs> Oh wow.
Wow. Puna took a very risky line here. Huh. I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna save my chanters here. I'm gonna save my chanters, not sure if it's worth it. Heal everything else, but the chanter will remain. There are four life. I don't have any more lands. I sacked three lands. I don't know if it, this looks good. So they can cast a mirror enforcer here. Or Gurma Gangler. Maybe I should just let it go. There it is. The angler. Rock. Alright, but implement and pass the turn. Opponent has plenty of cards in hand with Blood Fountain to return their creature. I will lose this game. The Crack 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 Sorry, Crack Clan Shaman, it's 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 really good. Hmm, Land Bolt. Thank you. If I draw land. I don't. Alright, you go to 13. I have 7 damage in end. Previously, they gained 7 life, which definitely makes the game a little bit harder. A little bit harder. Okay, they have 7 artifacts, so they can cast that one and also the 1 1. You don't cast the 1 1? Why? Hmm. Sweet Spear. Yeah, unfortunately, I kept a hand. Uh, no, not kept my hand, but I took a line that killed all my lands, and now I don't have any more lands to play my cards. And this two, one, three don't do anything. Yeah, yeah, my 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 line was unsuccessful. I would say. If I kept uh, all my lands, I maybe would have been in a better shape. All right, good game. I'll bring in this five. I'll take out, once again, the Lava Dart, the Goblin Bushwalker, the Fire Blast. Just the weaker cards, basically. Chain Lining, maybe Fire Blast? It's worse. The Chain Lining is not good. Mind Collapse? Hmm. I want a Mind Collapse. They don't want my collapse now. On the play. Well, man, it is what it is. Arcanum Solution is a vintage playable card now. Yeah, for sure. Talked about it in the podcast a little bit, how weird it is. But things happen. All right, Bluff Haunted. Better than my implement. I'll uh, go with Dwarven for Chanter. I think this card. Um, and shine here. Last game it didn't shine. Ooh. Let's blow up this land, shall we? Two mana sinkhole, deal three damage. That's, what, that's where it's at. You're at 13. You just gotta shrivel. Alright. Uh, um, no changes. Let's go to game three. Fast and easy. What are mulligans to six? I think this end is a mulligan. At three cards that are literally uncastable. Do you think this end is a mulligan chat? 
Obviously, if I draw any, like, implement or cool dot, it's a good end. Nah, maybe it's a keep. Even as a mulligan to four, I think this is, this is the, the best four cards you can have. I'm putting mulligans to six, now to five. Yeah, I think there's no risk. No need to risk to get a... Nice, yeah, just boom. Immediately the best draw possible, probably. Two, that can also. What's the reasoning behind Gorilla Shaman? They have uh, artifact lands. Most of some of them are uh, destructible, like that Great Furnace. Some of them are indestructible, like the Super Bluff Bridge. Okay, but want to go Synthesizer or Implement? Um, Synthesizer draws two cards to find the third land, so I think it's a little bit better. A little bit better. We brick. Huh. I didn't even consider fire blasting the mirror enforcer. I don't want to do that life. Okay, they pass. Draw. Hmm. Combustion. I'll go cool Dota. Draw a card. Nice. I want to attack with all. They get to eat my Swift Spear, eat this, sorry, block this, take three. So I'm sacrificing one Swift Spear for three damage. Hello, Seaflate. Is it good? Sacrifice the Swift Spear for three damage. Is it worth it? Sure. Let's do it. Wow. Okay, they, they they took even more damage. What's your favorite proper deck right now? Hmm. That's a good question. I don't know. I, I used to love Blue White Cogate. I haven't played that since the Popper Geddon. Just to change. I haven't found anything that's that I remember loving as much as that one, so maybe it's still that one, although I haven't played it in a while. That one was very good and very fun. It might have the, the minus one, minus one with cycling. Ooh, that's a good draw. I'm just gonna go land the tackle all here. I don't wanna play smash and then they sock it and don't deal three damage. Yeah, I deal four damage and then I play Epicure and pass. You go to eight. Yeah, my point is playing the Affinity deck I played on Tolera Community College. Oh wow, they don't do anything. Clean up two mana for them. Upland. Well, I'm not gonna play Smash here. I'm not. I'll just attack with all. Play land, why not? I just attack it all, and then I'll uh, play another cool Dotha. So put you to five here. And I'll play another cool Dotha, sacrificing this. Pass. They thought they don't tap. I <laughs> appreciate a sea flight. Deadly dispute. Okay. Not moving. Froggy. 
<laughs> okay. Two cards in hand for them. Huh. <sighs> Draw Lightning Bolt. Hey, <laughs> that's a lot of lethal burn. So first I wanna put you to two to three life. Oh, they're doing something. What is it? Reckoner's Bargain. So you want to gain 7 life. <sighs> That's too much, probably. Let's start by smash this meterines. This. Maybe they play another Sacrifice Effect in response. In which case they're tapped out and win the game. Yeah. It was very important in this game to... to react to my opponent. You understand? Because if I was more proactive, they would have played this in response. Whereas I always held the burn spells and my opponent died. So it is important that you play in this way. Round number five, let's go. The format we played, the insect was modern, yeah. Ooh, island go. Hmm. I don't like to go chain lining face. If opponent plays the 5-5 five -five decks, or the fairies deck, I want to have removal spells. Ooh, island, island. This might not be blue-black. I'll play Reckless Impulse. This way they can't spell starter sprite it, but just counterspell it or spell beers. Yep. Hmm, it's gonna be mono blue. Mono blue Delver, mono blue terror. Okay. Hmm. If I go, I think I'll go Synthesizer. If they had Spell Pierce, I think I would have played it earlier. And if they have Spell Starter, I can Galvanic Blast the Spell Starter with ability on the stack. All right. Let's go Reckless Impulse. I'll pass. Very good for me. Like, this is just why the deck is good. Because you have uh, so many card advantage engines. Like, one, two, three were just card advantage engines. My opponent also had two counters, but like, guess not everybody counters all your spells. Sometimes your spells resolve and you actually do the card advantage. I'm playing a Trieste next weekend. Yes, I'll play the Popper on Friday and then the uh, Modern on Saturday. And then we'll see on Sunday, based on how I do in Modern. All right, start with Synthesizer. That's a very good draw, of course. I mean, the more of these cards you draw, the, the, the more you're going to win. Land, a la Kuldota, Sacrifice. Server synthesizer. Mm. Mm. Well, synthesizer. Sure. Two bolts. Bold you. A bold you. Oh, okay, so far. Brian Borrow Intruder. One mana, one, two. Let's buff a card. Can you control this? Minus two, minus zero. Woo, okay. Cool. You attack me. Mm, that's a little bit. That's a little bit too much, opponent. Remember, the deck plays uh, all the uh, ninja cards, so you better block. Don't let him ever deal you damage. Or rather, I have unblocked uh, creatures. Oh, mutagenic growth. I didn't expect that. 
I was playing around more. I was playing around the brain borrow intruder. Turns out they just rather got me with the mutagenic growth. That's cool. It took two damage though, and my hand has uh, landed glass not as good as I wish. Ooh, love it art. I think I'll go for a cool dot by rebirth, sacrificing land. And then I want to chain lining this thing. What's that? What do you have? Snap! Pop! You want to snap it? Uh, I guess I have to fight. Yeah. I'm pass. You have two cards in hand. I have two cards in hand, but I have two. I have three one ones in play. Love art is excellent against uh, fairies. Be pretty bad otherwise. Hmm, should we cut love art from this deck? It's only really good against ninjas, and I guess that's still, yeah. That's still a deck though, right? Moon Circuit Acker. It's good versus Cogate. All right, yeah, makes sense. Va bene. Very good news here. I'll just untap it. I may have drawn spell up here, so no need to. I guess that was the reason, but yeah. Baker, take eight. Vroom. Bushwalker. One, my, oh, one mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Two cards left. Okay, more, more two ones. I'll uh, tap it all. This game we drew very, very little lands. Very, very few lands we drew in this game. And that's why we won. Also because of the matchup, I guess. But yeah, drawing like three or four lands with this deck, it's 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 really broken. Alright, so we bring in Pyroblast and the festivities. We take out what? Far Blast. What is bad? Chain 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 lining is just yeah, it's bad. It's a sorcery card. Uh is anything worse than it? No, I think I think the rest looks good. <sighs> What's the time shot? Uh, Twelve forty. All right, all right. Last match of the day. Doggos, the doggos, and the festivities. Doggos. Sorcery cards are not the best. They are not the best. What's the picture of Cool Dota Rebirth? Hmm, that's kind of cool. I think this can be my thumbnail. How many Hydrobots they can play? You think we're gonna miss lunch again? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think in 20 minutes we'll finish the match. My thumbnail can just be my head. Over cool Dotha rebirth. Actually, maybe an end of festivities is, is probably better. End of festivities is such a badass, such a badass uh, picture. Power blast is good. All right, go lands and spells. Let's go. Your head on top of a great furnace. What's the great furnace picture? No. Fairy miscreant. All right, I think I just have to power blast a fairy miscreant. I don't think they can punish me for having great furnace as my first land. Hope I'm not wrong.
on there. How much is this pawn there? I'm actually curious. Wow, it's 10 ticks? Put it with that big money. Is the all access account still legal or did my opponent just actually spend ten dollars to get that pawn there? They might. All right, two minute one three, go. I'm gonna spend the big money, I think so. <laughs> they opened it. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Even this, yeah. Ten ticks each. Jeez. When it was plays Mono Blue. Oh, you know their nickname? Okay, cool. Mono Blue Master. They have four cards. I'll uh, play Swiss Pure Attack, I think. No. See, so I have to for sure play Swiss Pure first because of the Spell Stutter. Plus, Spell Stutter, I have Galvani Blast. And then I'll... Actually, not at the top that, I think I want to cash it in my, my card advantage card rather than the Dwarven thing. So just draw my two cards for next turn. Upper Millionaire. It is. It is, though. The three balls. I don't even think you can buy them at the moment. Like, Goldbot has... They have one. They literally have one copy of, of Ponder in sale. Wow, mental of the time. A like combustion implement. Oracle Simples is basically, yeah, right? Basically, express iteration. I think I'm gonna go uh, cool Dota here and draw a card. Playing around spell peers. Let's see if they have a counter spell. Alright, looks like they don't. Uh, yeah, it's bold face. I'm gonna play this finally. I shouldn't have played this. This was a mistake. Man, Naji, this was a mistake, chat. All right, thank God I didn't spell starter sprite. But I shouldn't have played it. Oh, but that was it. Didn't, didn't get punished. Ooh, Fairy Seer. Now you can pay. Now you run out of card, you can keep that free. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, me neither. I don't like foils on Magic Online. I try actually to spend money to defoil my decks on Magic Online. God Blast does not deal uh, the damage I wanted it to deal, but I can chum block, they block, and then I... No, it's too bad, right? If they have mutagenic growth? No, it's okay. It's not that big of a deal if they have mutagenic growth. It's not a big deal if they have mutagenic growth, right? I think so. Let me God Blast this in combat. Okay, they have sixth. Love it. Now let's suck this blood. Let's see if I draw a better card. I don't. Play this and pass. Maybe I should have started with cycling the blood actually. Yeah, it would have been better. I don't know why I didn't. No, MTG is doing fine. MTG is doing great. My connection sometimes becomes lower, but it looks like I have all the all the things right now, so shouldn't be shouldn't be my problem. All right, ooh, let's do this. Two mana, cycle, deal one damage, pump this thing, sign me up. I think the the most important thing for real though, it's just that we power blasted the turn one fairy miscreant. That's something that people are always afraid to do, but you have to do it so badly. Like, you just don't ever need... You can't let him attack.
Hello, Didabu. Ooh, look at this guy, the Brand Barrow Intruder. Coming in. Hey, how do you block Brand Barrow Intruder? You block a goblin? Hmm. I would like to love it art you. Do you let me? Do you let me love it art you? Alright, looks like you do. You go to six. I have love it art in the graveyard. Go. Okay. Hello, Filtros. Um, I'm not playing any challenges. Right now, this is just a league, five match league. Challenges only happen on Saturday and Sunday. And there are events of uh, from six to seven turns. Wow, that's your play? Crazy. I guess I'm doing this then. That's it? Okay. Spell? Nice. That's lethal. Alright, 4-1. GG. Strong deck. One of the best. The best, probably. Is it a clickbait if I if, if I titled this video the best deck in popper? Is it a clickbait, you think? I believe it. I guess if I believe something, it's not a clickbait, right? I might just be wrong. So, but it's not clickbait. You like clickbait. I know. I was just talking, just talking. All right. If you got to this point in the YouTube videos, I appreciate. And remembering that if you haven't done yet, you can uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a like, leave a comment, the, all the usuals. I am going to play this deck maybe tonight, maybe next week at the Trieste event. I don't know, but definitely is a strong deck. And I like this build a lot. The Mind Collapse, I think it's good. Four relics, I think it's good. Yeah, nothing, nothing much else to say. Very good list, very good deck, very good format. Thank you everybody for watching.